Alright guys, so this is after I finished recording and realized, well, and went over the footage and realized that the audio was so whack. So, my microphone setup was kind of odd and it was early in the morning, so I, when I recorded it, so I, it, the audio is kind of, um, uh, very weird. So, if you still want to watch the video, go ahead, but if you don't want to, that's totally fine, I understand. So, anyways, uh, off to the video. Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the um, fireboat and hopefully we can get uh, it running today. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways guys, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so a few of you have been wondering what what happened to the C5 Galaxy build series. So just to clarify what has happened, it's not officially over yet. Or what I've been doing over the past uh, little while since the last episode is I've been trying to figure out the landing gear wobble. Like for some reason I cannot figure it out. I've tried and tried and I'm still working on getting it to work. Um, so as soon as I figure that out, the build series will continue. It's not been cancelled, it's just uh, been to a halt because I cannot figure out how to get the landing gear to work. So um, let's get into the fireboat now. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and quickly paint this and then if I remember correctly we did we left off on the power line or the drive system. So we're going to go ahead and work on that. So let's go ahead and drag this back to here, delete this, make this into a pipeline. So let's grab a closed straight pipe and turn it black really quickly. And then we'll drag it to right here. Okay, let's go ahead and paint these white really quickly. Um, okay, let's go ahead and grab a clutch. This one right here. Okay, I think, let's just go ahead and, I think it's going to be two gearboxes for now in total. Um, it might be more, depending if it can handle more. So let's go ahead and Actually, let's go with three, like one low gear, one high gear, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and turn these around so these are facing the right way. This one actually, um, I think is still, is gonna be a three to one ratio as well. So let's go ahead and leave it at that. This will be a two to one to three to one. Um, actually, let's leave it at three to one, three to one. So this one will be negative one. A one to one to negative one so this will be reverse this these two will be higher gears so let's go ahead and do we have any batteries at all okay so we don't have huge batteries which might be a problem so i think we're going to have to just, just place to place a bunch of them so they're 150 each i guess we could just go ahead and place like a 10 maybe or more just a bunch of them so we're gonna have to figure out this problem as soon as we get uh, bigger batteries, I guess. So let's go ahead and connect them all up. Okay, actually, you know what? Before we connect everything up, uh, we're going to have it go through a circuit breaker system in the actual cabin. So it's going to, so we're gonna have the ability to turn all the power off. So for now, we're just going to set up a single circuit breaker for it, but eventually we're going to actually make it into a bigger system. But for now, we're just going to connect these to the batteries. And then these to these, I guess you could say. Well, uh, to the rest of the ship. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that up. Um, so now let's go ahead and connect these up to an actual piping system. So let's go ahead and delete these as well as these all the way down. This will go down to here, which is the wall of this room, but it could be used as a piping system to connect this to the ocean floor. So I think we're going to drag it to over here, um, to the bottom of the boat right here. So let's go ahead and line it up. And let's grab a port, a fluid port, right here. Okay, let's go ahead and place it down. Let's go ahead and paint it the same color as the bottom of the boat, which would be black. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some pipes. So let's go ahead and turn it 
this way. Well, let's make it go up here and then let's turn it this way. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and drag it back to here. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it up so it faces up right here. Let's go ahead and place a pipe here and then another pipe. Let's go up here. Actually, I'll go all the way up here. So let's go ahead and place it down right there. And then right here, let's go ahead and turn it this way as well as up. Right here is going to be a fluid pump. And there's going to be several other, other pumps, but this is going to be the main one. Actually, not the main one, but one of them. So let's go ahead and paint it now. Alright, that's painted enough. Let's go ahead and add the other pump right here. Um, let's go ahead and actually add it right here. So it'll go this way. So this is the fluid out on this side, so the fluid will go in, it'll be pumped up, it'll go out, out up here, and then out to the nozzle. Okay, let's go ahead and give it electricity. Okay, let's go ahead and connect the toggle button. Is this a push button? No, it's a toggle. Okay, let's go ahead and connect those to the pumps. Alright, let's go ahead and try it out really quick. Let's see if it works. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the circuit breaker on. That will give it power. So let's go ahead and go up here. Let's grab a hose. So let's go ahead and put... Actually, we already have a hose. Let's connect it to here pumps and then B to toggle the hose uh, that does not have very much pressure why that's odd shouldn't it be more powerful because it's not going anywhere Maybe more pumps, perhaps? That might do it, so let's go ahead and um, right here we're just going to add another pump. So right here it's just going to turn this way and then go up this way into a pump and then go back into this pipe by two other pipes. So let's grab a pump. Let's go ahead and turn it up, and then let's turn it back using two other pipes. This one, as well as this one, it's hard for you guys to see. Okay, we're going to have to use a enclosed pipe, so let's grab that really quickly. And then let's paint it. Let's um, give it the uh, um, logic node, and then let's give it some power. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and spawn it in and try it out. Alright, let's try it out. Let's go ahead and hook it up to the hose, and let's turn it on. Okay, that helped. I think of it quite a bit. I don't know how well, though. So if we walked over here, we do have a little bit of pressure. So maybe if we had a couple more pumps, it might help. I'm not certain on that. But we could always try. So let's go ahead and go to right here. Let's go ahead and change this pipe all the way up here to this pipe. So it'll go into here and then we can let it go through several other pipes. Now let's get rid of that hose noise. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and fill this in with just regular blocks. And let's grab a couple other pipes. So we'll place one right here. That was backwards. Let's try that again. Okay, that should be good. Let's go ahead and try that. So let's go ahead and add a pipe here, and then we'll do the logic for it really quickly. So let's give it some electricity. All right, now let's give it some uh, uh, on and off signals. For both sides and let's go try it out actually one other thing we could try so we could also add more pipes just in case it's not getting enough fluid so let's go ahead and delete that and change it for this pipe right here and then we could drag this a couple over after we make it face the right way 
So let's just go ahead and make it face down, and then we'll drag it to here, and then make this regular pipe, well, uh, angular pipe. Let's grab this pipe, and let's turn it black. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, drag it to over here, and then let's go ahead and connect to these. Okay, let's go spawn in and try it out. So let's go turn it on. Whoa, that is some, that is some pressure. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Okay, how much power are we draining? Oh, geez, hardly any. Ooh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and amplify the system so it's a lot more powerful, and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, I added a few more pumps and a few more intakes, so let's go ahead and spawn in and try it out. All right, let's hook it up. Turn it on. Ah, dang it. Circuit breaker. It's always the circuit breaker. I always forget it. So let's go try it out really quickly. Is it on? Ah, there we go. Ah, uh, is it working? Okay, I did something wrong. I made one pipe backwards or something. Because it is not doing anything at the moment. Okay, so they all have power. They all seem to be facing the right way. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. That would do it. That would do it. That would do it. Darn. All right, let's try this again. Let's go ahead and move it over. And spawn it in. And try it out. Let's go see how it works. Oh, that is some good pressure. Yeah, this will work. far can we get? Okay, all the way at that, that lamppost. That's pretty good. It's not draining too much battery, actually, to be fair. So, I like it. Alright, let's go ahead and um, hook up the other pump systems. So those will probably be the most powerful ones out of them all. So let's just uh, hook this one up really quick. So let's grab some pumps. This one right here. All right, so this will face up, which would be this way, I believe. Okay, yeah, Fluidin is closer to the valve. Okay, let's go hook, hook it up with as much as we can. So let's hook it up with um, several uh, intakes. So let's grab a port, not a pop, a port, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, so for this pipe, or this part, we'll use that pipe. Um, and then these, we'll just go ahead and plug these in to here like this. There we go. All right, let's plug these in as well. And this, we will go ahead and plug to there. And then let's get the toggle button. Actually, let's grab the electricity while we're at it. So let's go ahead and give it all power. And then electricity. Oh, sorry, not electricity, um, uh, whatever it's called. All right, let's go ahead and grab some hoses because we don't have any on this. So this side will be a hose while the other side will be a open spot. So if you have any tools that you already have, you don't have to drop it. You could just place it in there. So this will be empty. Let's go ahead and put it to here. All right, let's go ahead and spawn it in and see how it works. All right, so let's go turn on the circuit breaker really quickly. There we go. All right, let's plug it in and let's turn it on. Okay, that's that's fair pressure. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So if we go ahead and do it this way, yeah, that's not bad pressure. All right, cool. How much power are we using? Not that bad. All right, let's go ahead and plug the other two in really quickly. And then we will get on the engine systems really quickly. So this one is connected to right here. Um, so we're gonna have to put it into the, uh, the pipes into right here for the actual bottom of the boat to actually give it some water. So let's go ahead and connect it to right here drag this down to about here, or just down to here, I guess. So let's go ahead and redo that. Here we go. 
Let's grab pipes. Let's uh, connect this to here and angle it down. And then this one will angle that way into the boat. This one will go up to here. We'll just go ahead and quickly paint this over. And now, oh, let's go ahead and connect it up to uh, right here. So let's give it five fluid ports to get water from. So let's go ahead and connect this up. So this will be fluid port one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's pipe them together. So let's go ahead and connect these two here as well as these to here. Then there we go. All right, this one will be a cross pipe. And then let's go ahead and add a few pumps. So this is going to be a very, very powerful one. Actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and angle it this way and then up so we can get around these pipes right here. So let's go ahead and grab a pump. And then we'll go ahead and angle it up twice with pumps. And then we'll go ahead and make it go up two. So we'll just go like this and this and this. Okay, then we'll pump add pumps all the way till the other pipe the intake oh this one right here so let's go ahead and connect this to these over here let's give it electricity from the circuit breaker and then let's go try it out so this one i think should be one of the more powerful ones so it should be decent range and quite useful so let's go ahead and connect the toggle button so let's add a toggle button for this to activate the pumps. So this will be pumps. And then let's copy and paste it to the other side. There we go. Now let's go ahead and connect them to these pumps to give it a control settings, uh, which will give it a button to toggle it. Then after that, let's give the toggle buttons uh, electricity. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn it in now. And let's try it out really quickly. Let's turn on the circuit breaker like I always forget to. And um, we won't forget this time. So let's go ahead and connect this to here. Turn it on and open it. Okay, that's fairly good. All right, now let's go ahead and get rid of that sound. And then let's go ahead and connect this to a PID which will control the actual engine RPS. We will need six PID systems, six PIDs um, for each engine. So actually one PID per engine. So let's go ahead and lay them down like this. Let's grab a constant on. Yeah, let's place it right here in the center, connect it to all of them really quickly. All the way to all of them. All right, so let's all set them really quick. So they're all gonna be one, zero, one. That'll give them the right numbers that we'll need. Okay, let's go ahead and do it to every single one. Oh, oops. Ah, oops, there we go. All right, cool. Now this one, the process variable will be our, the RPS. And same for all of them. Each one will be controlled by the RPS, and then the set point will be the, th the throttle. So let's go ahead and connect these right up. So there we go. Okay, the set point will be the throttle lever. And I'll set the RPS every single time. So let's go ahead and connect them up to every single one. Okay, then let's connect them to each engine. That'll give it the RPS control. All right, cool. Let's add the starter button to the engines. So this will start the actual engines. Okay, we need to add a fuel pump button somewhere. So let's go ahead, add it right here. All right, let's go ahead and grab a toggle button for it. There we go, let's go ahead and place it down. This, we will name it fuel pumps. Oh, not fuel. -y. Okay, not pumps, or not pumps. Let's go ahead and connect it to the fuel pumps, which these are the fuel pumps right here. 
All right, now let's connect the electricity to it, which is immediately right next to it. All right, cool. I believe most of the things are hooked up. Battery, yeah, okay. Let's connect this up to just one of them because batteries have a equal flow through all of them. They all remain the same at the moment. So this will connect to the fuel. Uh, where's the fluid meter? Do we have one? Okay, let's go ahead and add one. All right, let's connect it to this right here. This will be the fuel level. Okay, let's go ahead and connect all the engine RPSs up. So we'll go ahead and do it left to right, kind of like on an aircraft. We'll claim these are the ones furthest to the left, these are furthest to the right. Okay, this is uh, closer to the middle, this is the one next to the middle, so this will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go ahead and connect the RPSs, RPSs up. So this will be engine one RPS. This will be engine two RPS. This will be engine three RPS. Okay, this will be um, engine four RPS. Okay, that was the temperature, let's change that. There we go, this will be engine five RPS. This will be engine six RPS. All right, um, okay, this will be the clutch. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to have re reverse gear two. Okay, so let's add them. Let's go ahead and just add them right here temporarily for now. So let's add them down both his toggle buttons. This will be reverse. Okay, this will be uh, gear two. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's give it a power, which is right here. Okay, but then let's go ahead and connect him up. This is the reverse. This is the gear two switch. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. So meters per second, do we have a linear speed sensor? Yes, we do. We're just gonna add it simply right here, temporarily. And then let's go ahead and hook it up. And we should be good to go ahead and spawn in after we add a fluid spawner and then try it out for the first time. Actually, you know what? I forgot to add steering. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. So, let's just con connect it right here. Okay, um, I believe uh, it's ready to go for the first time. Um, does it have any errors? No, we're good. Okay. Oh yeah, fuel, we need fuel. So we're just going to go ahead and cut it off to the main engine or fuel area, I guess. So let's add a fluid spawner in here. Okay, so we're gonna have less fuel, but less fuel wasted when we spawn it back in. Right, let's go spawn it in and give it a go for the first time. So we still need to add all the light systems. That'll be next. Okay. Seems to be fine. All right, let's go ahead and turn on fuel pumps, engine starter. Let's leave it at five RPS. Let's pull the clutch in. Huh, the same pad. Oh, what about gear two? Oh, let's pull the clutch out. All right, let's give it a go for a wrench and Okay, let's um, go ahead and uh, turn gear two off. Oh, okay, I think gear two is too powerful. So it does trawl very nice, or I mean uh, crawl. So let's change this to a two to one. So it'll only double the gear ratio. Okay, um, uh, let's go ahead add a system with two threshold gates, which will, uh, W and S will control the clutch. So let's go ahead and add the two threshold gates. Um, so let's add these two here and here. So let's go ahead and set them really quickly. So the low would be negative one, 
the high would be negative 0.1. So this will be uh, clutch down, which would be S, which would be negative 1. So this would be down. This would be up. Let's go ahead and set this one really quickly. So high gear would be 0 0.1. Well, the high would be 1. The low would be 0 0.1. I think, yeah. So that'll be the low. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in it. So power on, fuel pumps on, engine, let's go with four. Okay, they're all on. Okay, maybe gear two is still too hard. Okay, so we got pretty nice fuel burn and pretty nice speed. So, this was a very long episode, um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, so thank you guys all so much for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, it'll be linked down below, and while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways guys, bye for now.